Hey, welcome all. This is my third session of Let's Play. I want to thank you all for being there. And I just made a new world. This is my third attempt at uh, recording uh, episode one for this uh, new season because Industrial Craft was just released and I was testing if I was uh, able to have both uh, Mistcraft and all the other mods I have. I just started a new game and I forgot of course to make stuff like uh, difficulty as easy and disabling the cheat mode of NAI. So the mods we have you can find them in my blog listed with a full set of links so you can download them if you want. <coughs> But essentially, it's the usual suspects. I wanted to add Mistcraft, but I wasn't able to because, for some strange reason, the recipes uh, tend to link to some Thumbcraft boots recipe. So it was like, uh, what the hell? So right now we have uh, Industrial Craft, which was released a few hours ago. We have uh, Red Power 2, pre release 5, which uh, was released yesterday or so. We have also Buildcraft 3.x, which was the first to be released. We have uh, the different mods I tend to use with Buildcraft teleporting pipes, additional Buildcraft objects, logistic pipes, railcraft, forestry, and. Uh, did I mention Thumbcraft? I suppose I did. Mm, we also have Steve's minecarts. We have we have the solar panel, the compact solar panels, and wireless uh, the wireless uh, redstone mod by Chicken Bones. Uh, again, forestry has little trouble with uh, NAI, but nothing too worrisome. Industrial craft. Ah, yes. Ender Storage is another mod I have installed, and I believe that's all, frankly. Yep. I hope the problem between Mistcraft and Thumbcraft, well, of course, Raid Minimap, I forgot to tell, uh, I, I hope that problem will be solved soon, and I will be able to use both mods. In theory, I don't really need anything from a mistcraft to generate uh, the wo any any block in the walls, but maybe for the um, different portals. Yes, mistcraft has portals, and just the usual ordinary kind of we can find in vanilla Minecraft, and essentially that's. Uh, all the relevant stuff I can tell you because I know little else regarding that. Anyway, it's time to start collecting resources. I decided to start in this uh, small plane and uh, I don't usually make a wooden shovel but I decided to make a smallest exception here today in order to start digging around and making some sort of quarry or something to start getting resources. I need cobblestone after all to make myself a better pickaxe, a good sword since I need food and <coughs> Of course, an axe to get uh, wood faster, etc. This is just a standard starting gathering of resources, so I won't be recording it all because I find it too boring, frankly. But uh, I do intend to keep you updated in my, the development of the series. Anyway, my objective 
for this series mainly is uh, to develop as much stuff as possible which includes but it's not lim uh, limited to exploring the different possibilities of Thumbcraft. I will also try to do other stuff like uh, I don't know uh, trying new systems, new well, new gizmos, new uh, oh. Oh my gosh, I'll manage to untie my tongue sometimes. Uh, yes, I want to explore the possibilities of the control module of uh, Red Power. I think I found, yes, that's, uh, that seems to be some crafts, big, uh, big wood, which is useful for enchanted wood. And I need Food. I'm going to need also clay for making the usual the usual um, well I'll, I'll remember it yeah alloy furnace for rest power 2 and yay an egg and I need uh, a lot of um, of sugar cane, not right now, but in the close future. I also need to make my take some seeds. I just go a couple of them, good. And I believe I don't really need much more, frankly. So this is the start. I will need to dig a hole, make me a home. Oh dear, I already... oops. I already left behind something. Yes, no, the crafting table is here. I thought I was... I had left it, that back. Anyway, there are new stuff in all mods I want to test. And Oh yes, I did some modification to the configuration files. I modified, for example, the turrets of a um, portal, so uh, they won't fire at me. I also modified a new laser included with uh, portal gun mod, so it will damage anything. And I also modified, uh, yes, rest power to configuration file, so it won't uh, make noise. There won't be ticks, you won't be hearing it because I try to record without sound. So the game, so the videos won't be as heavy as they might. And I also modified something else. I don't remember right, right now. What it? Uh, oh, yes, the portals. The other modification I did was to. Um, remove the possibility of uh, being able to look through the portals of the portal mods. I already tested it before and it made a flickering effect in race minimap. So I prefer to disable that. Also it, uh, it gives us Mm, a little more adventure sense. After all, you don't you don't know if you're going to um, arrive at a safe destination, or you will be in the middle of uh, I don't know, anonymous creepers reunion. It's a nice portal you have there. It would be a shame if something were to happen to it. Anyway, night is coming, so I've been recording, I suppose, for about uh, nearly 10 minutes. I better look for the little hidey hole I made before, which was around here. You see, that's because I try to leave something marked in my, my, pas my passage. Yes, here it is. I knew there was some coal in here, so I will be able to make some torches. Uh, sadly, I wasn't able to find any ship. 
which means I won't be able to make a bed. It's pretty strange because uh, in all the other... Oh, let's close this gap with something. In all the other first episode I did of the Let's Play, I wasn't able to avoid being surrounded by ships. Anyway, I will spend the first night mining and I will be back with you as soon as I have uh, something to report. Okay, I just started my exploration and I already found a small cave system. I plugged this hole in here because there are some zombies back there. And right now I'm not in uh, this uh, the slight intention of facing moths. I am, after all, in the first night, trying to gather as much resources as I can. So there we are, trying to gather resources. Uh, also, this map is a little atopic because I uh, didn't spawn nearby a novelisk of some craft. In the previous three attempts, I spawned really close to one. In fact, in my test world, I have a house just, just by the side of a monolith, and it's quite funny. Uh, but oh well, I also know already how to access the insides of a monolith, but uh, <laughs> that wasn't really something I discovered myself. I just uh, used YouTube to find it. So you see, I am a little cheater in that regards. Oh, appetite. Long time no see. The appetite is from forestry, so it's used for uh, the crafting of different uh, require earths, so to speak like humus and the like for the forestry machines to work on okay we know ha we now have food right and so um, raw beef uh, there we go let's make some charcoal and while we're at it let's craft uh, a chest it will be good to have a chest Good indeed. Mm -hmm. Okay, sh uh, shift control click to place everything of uh, the same type up there. Perfect. And middle, cl a middle click to keep it ordered. So, what am I going to do here is to start the stairway to hell. As usual, uh, trying to reach bedrock and trying to well gather as much resources as I can, as I already said before. So my first uh, steps in here will be trying to make myself some industrial craft goodies, especially. Oh dear, I should go up and check the, that. Especially mining drill. Oh look! That crystal can be harvested, it's from Thumbcraft. Or you can let, uh, leave it uh, there. Yeah, see? Good idea to come here. Or you can leave it there and it will replenish the mana uh, value of this chunk. Mm, some craft has two kind of uh, values, one that is good and one that is not good. The good one is uh, mana, like in all those games, including but not uh, limited. For example, to Skyrim, if you remember it. I remember wasting 20 hours playing that game all the year. <clears throat> Not that it was uh, bad, but uh, for me it wasn't really worthy of an Elder Scrolls title. And I need a new pickaxe. And the other one is the taint. Taint is uh, bad. It means uh, something is 
go uh, wrong with the world and uh, essentially you could uh, say it's uh, magical pollution when they're stained uh, you are uh, for you are in for a fun ride where you will be facing where you will be facing well I won't say monsters but uh, strange mutations and arcane mishaps of sorts Mm, for example, well, I don't really know what to call them. Anyway, <coughs> it's something you have to avoid. Uh, is the taint useful? Does it provide something interesting? Well, few machines of Thumbcraft, if so to speak, use the taint for something. I don't know which machines, I don't know what they use the taint for. Uh, we will discover that together. And the, the main I could be consider some sort of uh, I don't know wireless energy you can gather or you can just let it be. Anyway, uh, you can also get uh, mana for your machines by burning items, for example cobblestone and other vanilla items including for example a block of di a diamond block or something similar the more expensive if you're familiar with equivalent exchange you know there's uh, an energy to matter value then and the high uh, the higher the rarity or the higher the EMC value so, for example, a single diamond equates to, I don't know if it, w in the past it was like four iron or four, four gold ingots, sorry. Now it's, uh, so it was like, uh, how much? 16 iron or something. And Thumbcraft uses something similar. The, higher the tire of the item the more mana it has however it will remain having 50% uh, mana 50% taint which means your all your all the tubes oh dear i need more torches which means all the tubes used by some craft will have the uh, value Will have will give you fifty percent of their value on mana and fifty percent on taint. Uh, and as I said, taint is bad, mana is good, and you will have your system so uh, fairly quickly clogged with uh, taint, which is something you will need to solve. Anyway, I as I said, I was going to start with industrial craft. Especially since I need, uh, <coughs> especially since I need to craft myself some really nice stuff, like a, like a compressor, a macerator, and some energy source, because I need diamonds. If I want to start with uh, Red Power Two control. I'm going to need uh, wafers, and wafers require a diamond saw besides uh, sand and, <coughs> and coal. Sadly, I, that means I will need uh, another di a total of three diamonds to start, since I am going to need a diamond to craft myself a um, philosopher's stone. So that's my. You could say my first priority is to find diamonds. However, I, I can also make do with uh, enough redstone, tin, and copper. I also forgot about something. Oh dear me, where's my head? It has been so long since I played Minecraft, <laughs> since I stopped the previous season due to some familiar trouble that has already been solved I wasn't able to play Minecraft at all uh, anyway <coughs> I just I forgot and now I just remember I need rubber trees which means I am going to need to get out 
and try to find some rubber trees. Oh dear. Another cave system. Fortunately, I can craft myself more torches. And let's see if... Nope. We weren't lucky. Uh, with some craft, zombies have a chance of dropping a... Well, zombie brain. Impressive enough. But it seems like they are not the most oh perfect the more the more uh, the most sharing fellas out there that uh, rest little whatever's in here oh dear can't you start com stop coming at me I'll be so much grateful if you did. Okay, let's go sell this. Perfect. Uh, anyway, I was telling you this is one of the new Thumbcraft uh, materials. And I don't have the slightest idea of uh, what is it used for. Mm, maybe I go with, um, I'll better seal this one too. And another torching here. Hmm. Let's see all this part too. I know it has another entrance up there. I am just trying to. Oh dear. Okay, this hole is blocked. Also, remember the crystals. These crystals from Thumbcraft have different uh, purposes and names and values. And they emit uh, light when they are planted in the world. Remove them and you will have a nice problem of darkness. Which is never fun. Okay, this is plugged. And this is plugged too. Perfect. I don't really need to make it a perfect wall just to, to cover the holes so no spider will be able to cross, but uh, sometimes I like to be detailed. Anyway, we now have uh, some place we can explore and exploit. And there's no worries about anything trying to exterminate us. Ha ha ha. And we don't really need to worry about uh, expansion since we are already outstretched. Oh look. <laughs> Uranium. Uh, but anyway, I need iron. That's, that, this is my first priority after all. Without the iron I, ca I can't get... Uh, to craft other stuff like uh, well, all the machines industrial craft uses. And I've noted that in the previous map I wasn't finding as much iron as I used to since the release of Minecraft out of the beta stage. So the iron drop rates may, might have changed, which would be unfortunate since industrial craft uses a lot of uh, iron but uh, there is nothing I can do right now at least uh, if I want to, to keep playing legally <laughs> I could always use NAI to give myself some materials but what would be the point behind that if I am playing through I better go up and I should eat something before I die of starvation of course didn't realize I was so low on food. And it's raining out there if my ears don't uh, deceive me. Okay, that should be enough. 
Anyway, let's place all these materials in here. And let's get some charcoal. Of course, I should get some more... wood. Is there anything out there that threatens me? No? Perfect. Huh, spy chickens. Anyway, I'm going to cut the feed now, since uh, as you can see the only thing I can do right now is to gather as much material as I, as I can. And I am going to also look for some clay, craft myself an alloy furnace, make myself uh, an iron pickaxe since it would be a good idea to gather that uh, diamonds, well not diamonds but uh, uh, some red power gems from down there since they can be used as diamonds when used uh, for tools and after the, that I think I'll be back with you However, I think this is a good wrapping up point for the presentation, this first episode. Especially since I did uh, nothing really interesting. I didn't even install anything. Or at least uh, show you how to do that. And I'm fairly surrounded by spy chickens. They are dropping a lot of eggs. They are reproducing themselves. Oh dear. I'm going to have trouble in the future unless I start cooling the competition, haha <laughs> die you spy anyway uh, I will be getting back to you as soon as I have anything interesting to show thanks for watching and I hope to see you on episode 2 oh is that oh well Del delay that order I believe we have found ourselves something noteworthy in here that I wasn't able to see before. What's... Oh, of course, an obelisk. This is the item I was uh, talking to you before. And you can see it's partially buried. I had never found this to happen. Which is interesting. Anyway... You can see there are four slots in here. You need to place four gems, one each in each slot. But the order can, cha can change depending on the monolith. For that, you will have to wait or look it yourselves on YouTube <laughs> or the, even the wiki of Soundcraft. And night's coming, 20 minutes mark is getting in here. I promise I will try to keep the episodes uh, short, not uh, 40 minutes each like the last time. And it would be a good idea to place some sort of mark now that I have raised minimap in my base, wouldn't it? Huh? Yes, it would. Anyway, take care. I'll hope to see you again in the next episode. Uh, and have fun, people! <laughs>